hello all uh, i request mr karan to start session okay uh, thank you kashyap uh, good evening everyone uh, so let me share my screen so basically uh, so in uh, in today's session uh, it's like a oriental uh, orientation session uh, so it don't be a, a deep dive into technology um, you can uh, sit and relax and you can understand the uh, wikimedia and the ecosystem then uh, on later later hours or later sessions uh, you will go deep into uh, technical sessions so i am nichal karan i am basically from tamil nadu chengalpattu uh, i work in infosys and i am contributing in wikipedia and other projects uh, since uh, 2010 uh, so i i, I mostly contribute in uh, tamil wikipedia and uh, um, wiki source mostly in tamil as well as english wikipedia uh, little bit contribution in hindi wikipedia so that's how i used to contribute in this project uh, besides that i developed a few bots uh, as well as lot of user scripts um i am also happy to uh, share our experience in upcoming sessions uh, about our uh, tools and uh, uh, scripts okay let us uh, move into uh, today's session uh, so uh, in this session uh, we will be uh, having an introduction about uh, only wikimedia okay uh, i hope uh, you people are aware of uh, wikimedia the, the term uh, wikimedia uh, you might have heard about uh, media wiki uh, wikipedia uh wikishnari wiki source the most of the jargons are starting with wiki so you might you may be confused with the terms so let me uh, first uh, clear the terms uh, so basically the 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 projects like wikipedia wikishnari wiki source um, so these are the projects are coming under a foundation the foundation name is wikimedia so if you see here in the screen you can see that term uh, wikimedia foundation is the 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 organization uh the basically the organization is the uh, the whole owner of the infrastructure okay the infrastructure is maintained uh, by this foundation uh, they have a own uh, infrastructure as well as their own employees okay so that is how the entire projects are running but uh, the contributors uh, as well as the developers as well as the users are all over the world or volunteer like you and me sorry uh, like you and uh, others so the, the thing is thing is like the entire projects are running and contributing and developing only by volunteers so not by paid users or paid editors so you can just imagine uh, you, the, some people from all over the world are joining together and contributing for a, the common cause uh, for open knowledge so that is the, the ultimate uh, the the work system in uh, wikimedia so the idea is wikimedia foundation is the foundation under this uh, we have multiple projects we will see one by one okay so uh, prior to starting into the projects uh, we need to understand few concepts like uh, open knowledge so you, you can see uh, here the jambu uh, wells so he is the person who uh, who is the co uh, um, like who um, who developed this uh, this projects who initiated uh, the entire um, wikimedia foundation so he he is he expressed that uh, he needs to create a create and a distribute a free encyclopedia for the highest possible quality to every single person on the planet in their own language so so it's not uh, related to only one language for example it is not specific to english or telugu or uh, tamil so it's not specific with only one language so uh, basically all the projects are multilingual uh, in nature and basic thing is uh, open knowledge i will tell you one story uh, like in like a couple of century back uh, people used to um, uh, form a uh, team and they used to build a pond or a dam uh, you can see this uh, this cartoon so that's how a uh, few centuries back people used to contribute to the society uh, for example if you are in a village uh, you you and your surroundings will uh, come together and you, at least you will build some channel uh, for your uh, paddy field or some dams you may construct so that is how the people are that is how the civilization or uh, came uh, came to uh, this place but now uh, in this knowledge world uh, the entirely entire world is shifting to data as well as internet so here slightly we can contribute in network as well i mean internet as well so here you can see this logo so basically people from the world can contribute their knowledge uh, to a project called uh, wiki wikimedia and their projects so that is the the symbol of uh, the the contribution so what you people can do like uh, still you can contribute uh, physically from other aspects 
but in in knowledge aspects uh, if you want to contribute or if you want to share your knowledge the one and best option in the internet is uh, wikimedia and its project uh, we will see one by one so here you find uh, the entire uh, projects uh, so uh, here you can see wikipedia wikishari wikicode i will go one by one uh, so as i said early uh, wikimedia is the foundation so if you see here this is the logo so wherever you see this logo which means it represents the foundation so under this we have multiple projects so each projects are driven by volunteers okay uh, same way um, this these projects have their own ecosystem like for example if you take wikipedia uh, it has their own community uh, in for every language for example for telugu we, they have their own uh, community uh, in, in hindi they have their own community so they themselves decide their uh, plans and they themselves do their outreaches so they have their uh, community setup uh, for example let's take example with tamil wikipedia uh, if you want to organize some event or if you want to do some uh, workshop or hackathon and that the same community can discuss and decide that uh, date and they can still they can take it forward so the the thing is like it is centralized like like sorry it is decentralized uh, communities all over the world and they are uh, driving driving this uh, entire open source uh, projects for example if you take uh, wikipedia uh, wikipedia is for article basis uh, for example if you want to contribute or if you want to read some articles you directly landing into wikipedia so most of people are aware of wikipedia so uh, i can skip this part uh, other than that we have a one more major project is dictionary uh, dictionary is nothing but a wiki dictionary uh, it is a multilingual dictionary kind of uh, project uh, for example if you if you pick a normal english uh, dictionary uh, you can have you can add any words any language uh, you can add sanskrit word hindi word tamil word whatever word you you feel uh, the people are using means you can add the word in the dictionary and write their meaning or other the synonyms in english so that is how the english dictionary will work now for example if you if you take uh, hindi dictionary means you can add any words but the definition and the the, the description should be in hindi so that is how this dictionary uh, works so basically it's a uh, dictionary okay so whenever you create new terms or new uh, jargon you can add it in wiktionary uh, then we have a project called uh, wiki source if you see here uh, wiki source is nothing but uh, uh, for example we have lot of uh, uh, books were there like printed books were there some of them uh, maybe uh, like destroyed due to some uh, some cause, some reasons so what people will do they will do digitalize the book and they will preserve it so this wiki source is a, a kind of uh, uh, preserving uh, those uh, printed books so the, as the term means like source source means the original uh, text so it will basically it will store the uh, original text it can be a uh, century old books or 2000 year old uh, uh, pamphlets or manuscript manuscript so anything can be but at a, this project will mainly intends to store the scripts okay. Okay. Then we have a wiki news. Uh, as terms tell, uh, it's like a news uh, with um, wiki uh, wiki uh, ecosystem. So it's like a uh, neutral and a volunteer writer will uh, create their news uh, in their project. And we have dictionary, sorry, uh, wiki versity and wiki species, sorry, wiki species, and other projects are there. Uh, most uh, frequent used to other projects wiki books. Wiki books is like, uh, if, for example, uh, if you want to create a book uh, with a collaboration with someone else, for example, if you are uh, if you are more interested in uh, thermodynamics, means you can create your book uh, about thermodynamics with collaborating with others uh, using this uh, wiki books uh, project. If you go into this project, uh, you will have an option to create your book. You can create your chapters. Uh, even you can share it with others. Uh, even they can edit and uh, improve your content. So the idea is. Uh, collaboratively you can create your open source books uh, in internet so that is how this wiki books uh, will work uh, same way wiki species is for um, it will contain details related to um, botanical as well as zoological uh, data uh, and uh, we have a, a the most important software called media wiki if you see here this logo uh, this is a software name uh, media wiki uh, media wiki is not like uh, other projects like it's not like a um, content related project uh, it is a software project uh, if you are good in python or if you are good in uh, this language still you can contribute to this 
uh, project you can contribute uh, uh, and you can improve this software uh, basically this is the wiki software uh, so this media wiki software is used in all other projects uh, for example if you go to wikipedia for example i will click the page uh, you might you can notice that at the end of the uh, page at the bottom uh, you might have seen this logo powered by media wiki uh, which means uh, this entire project is powered by software called media wiki so that is how uh, it represent it is a, a wikimedia project as i said it's uh, driven i mean it's maintained by uh, wikimedia foundation so this uh, this logo it's meant for that okay now coming back to this slide and we have a um, meta wiki is there a meta wiki is nothing but it is for um, maintain it's, it is for um, like um, discussion and uh, uh, this like uh, like it is basically like planning and executing other uh, project activities so it, it is not like general people won't mostly use this um, meta wiki uh, we have one more uh, main uh, project is uh, wikimedia commons uh, you might have heard this word uh, when you search any image in wiki sorry in google uh, for example you, you, even you can try it out uh, if you put any word like um, any cartoon or any word like for example if you put india means uh, you will get plenty of images in uh, google image search uh, if you filter it out to specific like a creative commons means uh, you will get most of the images from uh, this wikimedia commons uh, which means uh, this repository uh, this project is mainly meant for uh, storing uh, media files uh, for example uh, images or videos or uh, um, animations or pdf any any kind of um, multimedia files can be stored in uh, this uh, wikimedia we will go one by one okay so ultimately so these are the main projects uh, in this uh, uh, wikimedia uh, ecosystem uh, not only this uh, we have a um, few more projects are there but i'm just mentioning only the the major uh, uh, projects uh, and i think one more project is missing that is called wiki data uh, wiki data is the, the most uh, um, needed not only for human as well as uh, computers uh, if you are more interested in uh, machine learning or uh, al based things uh, definitely you can look it into this project wiki data uh, because wiki data is mainly developed not only for human uh, also for computers, uh, so we will see one by one. So the idea is you just have to understand uh, about uh, every project. So every project have some similarity. Um, I, as I said earlier, so this Wikipedia is for only article. Uh, this is for dictionary. This is for source. So we have different uh, like different flavors, uh, but every project have some uh, the basic uh, the concept. That basic concept is open licensing. Open licensing. And the thing is like as i said in uh, first slide uh, open knowledge is the basic idea of the entire uh, projects uh, if you see any project uh, any content in wikipedia or other projects it's it's open knowledge which means you can easily uh, reuse it uh, and you can use it for your own purpose uh, for example um, maybe a few of them are in student uh, category uh, when you submit a final year project or any thesis uh, you will you will search for the content then you will uh, create a uh, project report all right so in the time at the time you, there is a concept like uh, you cannot uh, copy any books or any content which is copyrighted you may uh, heard that word copyrighted which means um, a general world general uh, world uh, there is a concept like copyright so people cannot easily sh uh, share the uh, the content or knowledge uh, from one place to other just to um, uh, save uh, ip rights but in other other angle, um, definitely we need to uh, give some sort of uh, uh, freedom as well as privilege to uh, share the knowledge, because open knowledge, uh, because we cannot restrict the knowledge from accessing to every to uh, anyone. So the idea is uh, these projects are basically meant with open licensing, which means you can share it uh, with anyone. But when coming into the licensing, generally there is a concept like uh, there is a term like creative commons uh, inside creative commons there are multiple category like uh, you can even you can uh, search this uh, creative commons in google you will uh, come to know a lot of creative commons categories are there uh, for example there is a cc by uh, which means uh, you can share the content but you need to give attribution 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 means you need to uh, tell who's the uh, owner or who, who who developed that uh, that uh, resource 
so basically we are giving acknowledging the author so that is the one of the the, the criteria for sharing so that's come under cc by uh, we have one more license called the cc by sa if you see here cc by sa so which means uh, that is creative commons uh, you can share it with anyone uh, there are two conditions the first condition is attribution we need to give attribution the second thing is share alike share alike means uh, you need to share uh, with the same uh, same uh, licensing you cannot restrict or you cannot again you will uh, you cannot um, make any restriction on sharing uh, so you, you you need to be open to share same way with other few licensing like a non derivative non commercial something like non commercial as well as non derivative which means uh, you can still share the content you can uh, still share the book or you can uh, share the images but it is not commercial as well as non derivatives so that come under this licensing uh, cc by nc and div uh, we have one more license called the cc0 uh, which means uh, public domain uh, books uh, for example uh, some text maybe 500 or 1000 years old text are there in our literature so those books or even some nationalized books are there okay those uh, books are come under uh, cc0 uh, which means uh, even attribution is not mandatory uh, you can still uh, share and you can use it so so these types are the major types in uh, creative commons among these uh, wikipedia is mainly using this uh, licensing cc by sa so why i am stressing to mention this licensing is uh, whenever you contribute or whenever you consume any of this uh, Uh, content from this project you just verify the license whether it is cc by csa or like uh, cc by nc or sometimes uh, it it, it uh, allows in cc by so in that case you still you can use on your own whatever need you can use still you can use it um in most of the case on most of the project uh, every content uh, in this projects are come under cc by sa a uh, few projects like uh, wiki data or a few projects still use uh, cc0 so just to go through uh, those projects and uh, well get the license as well as so these are the basically for uh, content like text content or image content okay when coming into software we have multiple licensing apache licensing gnu mit so there, there are multiple licensing so uh, so these are all open licensing uh, open licensing means you can still see this source code uh, you can share it with and also you can improve it so those are the the basic uh, the uh, theme inside this uh, licensing uh, still um, you can see the source code of uh, media wiki as well as other uh, projects a uh, few of the projects or few of the scripts are maybe in mit license or gnu general public license so just go through and you can uh, act accordingly so that is a, the basic idea i would like to give then now coming into the uh, wikimedia movement and uh, generally uh, for example so this this kind of outreach for example this is the uh, one of the angel workshop right so this kind of workshop or this kind of uh, activity or even in person activity you would like to do uh, like couple of uh, weeks back we had a wikimania uh, globally we had a wikimania so there are a lot of activity all together we call it like uh, wikimedia movement okay as a term you can see here so this is a wikipedia moment so we we as as a volunteer we myself and all other contributor would interested and would like to spread this movement as 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 we said uh, spread this movement means it is not like uh, like a like a political or social movement uh, it's like a knowledge based movement with uh, with a um, like summary of these four things the first thing is value open knowledge and free knowledge other the value based things the first uh, property second thing is projects like uh, wikipedia or wiktionary as per uh, your interest or as as you wish you can pick your projects so these are the projects and activities activities can be outreach or hackathon or editathon we have multiple activities for that and organization uh, now coming into organization there are multiple organization in around the world like for example uh, as i said wikimedia foundation uh, same way india in india we have uh, some uh, entity like uh, cis cis is there uh, same way there are a lot of uh, chapters where there all, all over the uh, world so these are the coming under organization concept so all together uh, we call it like uh, wikimedia uh, movement so uh, in nutshell i would like to share one more um, um, decision tree so it will help you to easily understand uh, for example let me take uh, if you if you want to access uh, wikimedia projects 
uh, there are multiple ways. Uh, for example, if you are looking for reference kind of things, okay, for your project or for our knowledge, uh, there are projects called Wikipedia, Wikibooks, Wikicode. So these are all for reference kind of thing. You can gain your knowledge, you can share your knowledge. So it's basically a reference kind of thing. We have other things like other projects like collections. Uh, collections means uh, it's still uh, it will it will keep on increasing whenever there's set of collections are appended to this project. Uh, for example, uh, Wiki Commons. Wiki Commons is a collection of uh, media files, uh, images or uh, drawings or videos. So this is like a collection. So whenever if you need any kind of uh, um, media files, you can come to this project and you can search and you can find it. Uh, let me open Wikimedia Commons. If you type Wiki Commons, you will uh, landing into this page. So this is a, one of the, the largest repository in world as per I knowledge. Um, so if you type here any any content, you can uh, still see uh, research like uh, India. If you type India, uh, you will get plenty of images related to India. If you choose India, if you choose uh, any, um, like if you choose the audio means, you will get the audio related with India. Uh, video as well, uh, other media files. If you choose PDF means, you will get uh, PDF files which are related to India. Uh, even you can choose uh, Indian constitution or act, like um, Indian act. Uh, you will get uh, most of the Indian acts over here, like you can see. Because this, this is the greatest repository for uh, media file. Also, uh, if you find any of the files are missing, uh, for example, you may search for any specific uh, act. Maybe that file may not be available here. In that case, still you can uh, search it, it, it search it from government website and you can upload it uh, if there is no uh, restriction uh, in those files. In generally, uh, these laws or uh, these, uh, these files are generally uh, it's open with a CC0 license. Uh, in that case, you can uh, upload it. But idea is uh, this uh, Wikimedia Commons is for um, a repository for all type of uh, media files. It's more interesting. Uh, you need not to write or you do not to uh, spend some time to uh, uh, develop or contribute in Wikimedia Commons. Just uh, you can share whatever image or whatever PDF or whatever files you have uh, with open licensing. You can still contribute to uh, this repository. So that is how this uh, works. Also, we have Wikisource. Uh, if you have any uh, rare books, uh, for example, uh, like a couple of uh, years back, I had a contact with some librarian from Coimbatore. Um, those books are uh, 60 years uh, uh, like old books. So they are, those books are not copyrighted because uh, the, those the entire uh, the lifespan of copyright law in India is 60 years. Um, so those books are copy left. So we had a, a chat with the other community members and we scanned and we uploaded in wiki source. Similarly, if you have any chance of uh, preserving any rare books, uh, you can use this uh, project wiki source. Uh, we have wiki university um, it is like like a university uh, with uh, open uh, knowledge concept uh, with the wikipedia ecosystem uh, you have a learning resources for all level um, basically this wiki university is not um, more matured in indian ecosystem but it is still uh, evolving uh, if you're interested still you can uh, experiment on this uh, project uh, wiki species is there um, it is a database of taxonomy so these are the projects for collections okay so uh, you, whenever you have any set of data, still you can contribute on these uh, things. And on another aspect like technology, uh, we have multiple uh, things like as I said, uh, Wiki, uh, sorry, uh, Media Wiki is one of the software. Uh, we have uh, plenty of uh, user scripts and uh, bots are there. We have uh, more number of uh, scripts are there. Uh, and Wiki data. Uh, Wiki data, as I said, it's a database of uh, structured information. So whenever you deal with any uh, machine learning kind of thing, if you want to uh, educate your machine, you can still use uh, wiki data. So these are the uh, in, in these are the uh, things that you can uh, access for technology related things. For guides like uh, wiki voyage or wiki news. So these, these are the projects for uh, some uh, guide uh, category. Okay, so this is, this, these things are for user aspect. Whenever you are a user, you can uh, approach or you can imagine in this way. Suppose if you are a contributor, if you want to contribute, uh, then there are a few ways. 
so this is a principal concept like um, uh, first you need to ensure uh, whenever you are contributing you need to ensure those licensing should be in creative commons uh, for example uh, like uh, i had experience like i uh, when i uh, gave a similar kind of session with a professor uh, i don't i don't like to mention their institution but the professor is very interested to share their learn, share his knowledge but the one of the condition is uh, he need to uh, restrict that uh, article because he is a, a doctorate uh, professor so he said that i am the doctorate i am the uh, the i have a more privilege to develop this article so please uh, lock this article by uh, allowing others to edit so that is what uh, his intention which means he is restricting the knowledge restricting the uh, the content uh, from others from editing but that is not uh, allowed in wikipedia so you need to be open and you need to be uh, release it in uh, open licensing which means uh, you release your content and you need to be open for others to improve the uh, content uh, for example if there is any uh, controversy or if there is a, um, like if there is no valid thing means still you can revert the content like you can revert that edit so that is allowed in wiki ecosystem but idea is you need to allow them to improve the content it is not like restricted to only one so first thing is licensing you need to be open and uh, next thing is neutral uh, you need to be a neutral uh, point of things you need to add for example uh, that might be a accident or that might be an suicide okay there can be a two views uh, one one can be a, a victims view other can be a, a police view but as an article or as a neutral entity uh, we cannot take any stand we will uh, we will ensure only uh, neutral points uh, in our article as well as other uh, projects so you need to be a neutral uh, one Uh, still you can uh, document uh, both aspects uh, you can still document uh, victims uh, um, their uh, their um, ideas or their uh, motives still you can uh, register the police uh, words as well so which means we cannot take any stand so that is what i want to mention here then how to learn like for example if you want to um, contribute you can uh, you can attend similar kind of workshops uh, even you can con you can attend Uh, any uh, in person workshops it used to we generally we used to attend we used to create some uh, kind of workshops uh, here and there uh, if you are part of or if you are in located in chennai uh, you can also uh, uh, contact me uh, next week we have a hands on session in uh, anna university uh, so that's one of the opportunity the uh, same way you can uh, you can learn also we have a lot of uh, videos for there uh, self learning videos uh, using that you can learn it um recognition as far now i can skipping this part we will take it later okay now coming into the concept uh, if you are good in proofreading okay if some people are interested in proofreading okay they those people can uh, contribute in uh, like uh, editing the content in wikipedia or wiki source like uh, spelling corrections or grammar corrections we you can use a lot of uh, scopes are there uh, still you can contribute Uh, if you are good in translation okay uh, some few people are interested in translation projects like maybe uh, hindi to telugu or telugu to hindi so those people can still contribute uh, they can cont- uh, they can translate the content from uh, one language to other um, um, most of them are bilingual like uh, definitely you, you would understand uh, more than uh, two languages uh, so in that case you at least you can translate the articles from one wikipedia to other wikipedia so that's that's the way of contribution contribution then content writing um, if you are good in content writing you can write in wikipedia or wiki news uh, even in wiki books so these are the area for content writing uh, even you can join with any uh, writers or literary literary uh, organization and you can improve uh, content writing suppose if you are a good in multimedia uh, professionals like if you are a photographer or um, a youtuber uh, in that case you can still uh, contribute in uh, this type of things like uh, suppose if you are reading a wikipedia article okay uh, in wikipedia articles can contain some uh, textic form of uh, news like let me open wikipedia let me open this elizabeth article okay uh, suppose if you are reading this article uh, you ha- you have a wonderful picture of uh, elizabeth or some uh, portrait of elizabeth okay in that case you can still um, uh, upload it in wiki commons and um, include it in wikipedia so basically you are not writing or you are not uh, uh, contributing in program uh, to uh, this projects you are just sharing your media files so that's uh, one of the example how you can contribute your 
multimedia skills uh, so this this elizabeth is a more most popular article so definitely you have multiple images uh, if you pick any of any of the article which is related to your environment uh, for example if you are in city means uh, at least you can search any colleges or university or any uh, monuments nearby you and you just ensure if those images are there are there or not if not still you can contribute uh, for example if you are traveling to any remote place or any um, any any um, hill station you can capture those uh, uh, natural scenes and any species or any, any kind of uh, educative content mean still you can contribute to uh, this projects and of course uh, if you are a programmer most of them are uh, programming background um, so you have a uh, more content in upcoming sessions uh, you have a lot of things to learn uh, we will see in upcoming sessions and uh, then uh, the final thing is the outreach uh, if you are a good in outreach uh, a few people are more talkative and they have good network uh, a few people have be part of most uh, networks in the city if you are interested you can still uh, take a similar kind of sessions in your city or in your college or you can uh, do some hackathons as well we have glam activities are there you can just go through this outreach activity so basic idea is you can spreading the uh, wiki uh, wikimedia movement to others so this is how the entire uh, um, this ecosystem will work uh, now uh, we will go into the uh, one, one of, uh, some of the uh, common terms so that is a basic idea of uh, today's session because uh, in generally uh, you people are aware of uh, some uh, basic uh, login things uh, how to post how to read how to share because uh, as you know in social media you are aware of those things but in wikipedia ecosystem we have some different jargons Uh, for example watch list is one of the uh, keyword actually when when i we entered into wikipedia i thought watch list is not like something like some watch uh, they are uh, presenting to the contributors because at the time i was not aware but that is not uh, actual thing watch list watch list is nothing but uh, you can monitor uh, your own uh, pages uh, in any project for example if you are uploading any uh, pdf in wiki commons means you can make it as a watch list whenever there is a changes in this uh, images uh, you will be notified so uh, let's see one by one uh, this jargon so basically whenever uh, you are contributing in these projects uh, general recommendation is you need to create a username okay but it is not mandatory uh, still you can anonymous you can contribute without uh, creating a username if you see here um there uh, this is my username uh, nishikaran and if you can find other things like uh, talk uh, sandbox preferences so uh, if you are not logged in uh, you cannot uh, see this username okay so still you can contribute you can find this edit button and you can edit and you can save uh, let me take um, other article um, let me take uh, some simple article Uh, so this is my uh, first article uh, tripoli uh, so for example uh, if you want to edit this article just to go to uh, edit source and you will come to this uh, kind of thing uh, if you are uh, new to this kind of a wiki code means uh, 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 don't be frightened so this is simple uh, thing uh, as as uh, as like html code uh, we call it like it is a, a wiki code Uh, there are few syntax uh, you can uh, learn in upcoming sessions but you just understand this is a wiki code uh, kind of edit but if you are uh, owning a port or if you are confused with uh, this kind of edit means still you can switch it to uh, visual edit there is option called visual edit so here uh, you can edit directly like uh, whatever like like word processor like a uh, microsoft word or other thing uh, you can uh, edit and if you want to do any kind of uh, um, like bold or italic still you can do it here any formatting thing you can do then you can click this publish a change it will be published immediately so it is very uh, simplified uh, form uh, so so that is that is how uh, we used to edit so uh, as i said early uh, username is recommended uh, if you are contributing anything using username means uh, you can see here uh, there is a page called history if you click here Uh, you will you can see uh, all the contributors uh, from the day one to now so uh, whatever uh, users or who what what type of contribution they can uh, contributed still you can see it uh, if you see for example 
uh, this content was uh, contributed by some some mac address which means the user doesn't have any uh, user id so whenever user contributed without without user id means either it will store ip address or mac id so that is how this uh, software will work if you click this preview uh, you can see the difference uh, so what particular content uh, this particular user contributed you can see it uh, so, uh, so that is the idea of this uh, history. So just ensure uh, you logged with your username so that at least uh, at the end of uh, time, you can still see your contribution. You can evaluate your uh, contribution. So that is the uh, one thing. Uh, then we have a concept called a talk page and uh, discussions. Uh, in generally, uh, for example, if you take uh, Facebook, uh, if you post anything, you, there is option called a comment session, right? Uh, you can comment maybe positive or negative you will have a discussion and you chat it chat over there right uh, same thing uh, in wikipedia wiki ecosystem but a slightly different different way uh, i will show you if you see here there is an article tab uh, beside that there is a talk if you click there so this is the page for a discussion so uh, if you if you think any uh, if you want to appreciate this article for example if you see this article is wonderful you can come to this page and click uh, news section and um, you can type the title like um, wonderful and you can uh, you can uh, put your comments uh, whatever you feel uh, if you feel uh, still you want to improve this article you can mention those things here and you can uh, submit it so which means uh, this talk page is basically for a discussion as well as commenting um, so most of the pages uh, in all, every project uh, this talk page is editable. Uh, most of the pages won't uh, be restrict uh, any um, any restriction in these talk pages. But in coming to the article page, there is a few restrictions. Like, uh, like there's to avoid any unwanted edits because uh, uh, since it is open, um, anyone can come and edit, and it can be a vulnerable. Um, it, it in for example, uh, for example, if you take Elizabeth, that article page is most uh, viewed page. Correct. If someone comes and if you edit anything uh, wrong means uh, it will be corrupt the entire article. Right. So in, in those uh, most visited pages or most needed pages, uh, we have some restriction like uh, we will uh, make uh, to uh, restrict uh, edits from new new users or sometimes even we will restrict for other users and only admin can edit. There are few uh, restrictions are there. Those restrictions are only to preserve the content. Uh, not to restrict from uh, or not to uh, avoid anyone. So still it's open, uh, but uh, just to save the content, we are restricting it. In that case, uh, you can go to talk page and you can still, you can post the content. Uh, suppose if you want to post anything, any content in uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth article means, uh, still you can edit. In some cases, if it is restricted means you go, go to talk page and you can post the content over here. So someone uh, who has who having access, uh, they will copy the content from talk page and they can uh, put it in the main page. So that is how the entire ecosystem will work. So talk page is editable to everyone. Uh, now coming to the next thing, a citation as well as a reference. Uh, as you know, uh, this is open uh, open kind of uh, thing. Uh, anyone can uh, edit and anyone can put anything. Uh, for example, uh, I can write about uh, my grandfather. Correct. I can write uh, my grandfather is the uh, first uh, president of uh, India. Okay. I can write anything. Right. So in that case, how the, the entire ecosystem will validate means uh, we need reference. So uh, in, in, in my case, in my story, I need to put some reference. Uh, so here is a reference from any um, journals or any newspaper. I need to publish it. So that is how whenever you add any fact, you need to add some reference. Uh, for example, uh, let's take this article. Uh, if you see this uh, number, this is the reference. Uh, so I'm I'm telling this uh, this particular uh, uh, village is located in north of Madurai. Means I'm giving some reference. This reference is from uh, government portal, some uh, Madurai Taluka portal. So this is how uh, you will contribute as well as you can verify it. Uh, for example, if if you find any discrepancy in the content, like uh you, sometimes you will find some discrepancy like some years may be uh, discrepant like uh, some uh, personality birth date or death date may be wrong in that case you can go to this reference if you click here you will come to know the reference then verify it 
uh, if it is um, valid you can ignore it if it is invalid uh, you are open to change the reference that is no restriction no restriction uh, you can edit the uh, article and uh, change the uh, date whatever you feel it is correct uh, other contributors or other uh, people will verify it so so that is how it's like a that the community effort uh, if you see any article uh, you can't find only single person as a contributor you will find multiple uh, people uh, from all over the world uh, for example if you take tamil wikipedia community we have all over the world we have uh, users from different continent uh, so even in night okay in indian time if it is uh, midnight uh, still people from uh, australia or canada are monitoring our wikipedia because users are from all over the uh, continent so the thing is like so that is how the entire projects are working uh, so you you will feel free to contribute using a reference so to add reference uh, uh, if you click edit source uh, if you click uh, any of the line for example if you type something some fact about uh, madurai means sorry some uh, fact about this tripali means uh, you click this uh, cursor at the end of the line and go to site okay citation is there then choose the template. Uh, if you are referring uh, from any news paper, means click this news and uh, uh, give the title and uh, and the publisher date and uh, other stuff, and you can uh, insert it. Uh, one thing is like it is not necessary to be online. Like this news paper need not to be online. Uh, at least uh, you can give the page number and at least the published date. That is sufficient. If whenever someone want to verify, uh, they can go to library and they can verify it. That is the least case. Uh, in generally, whenever you, if you are contributing any rare concept, in that case, it is applicable. But in general, uh, in this digital world, uh, most of the data are available in, in internet. So you can uh, use uh, those references and you can give the URL here. Okay, so that is the that is how the citation will work. Uh, in all, in every project, for example, uh, if you are uh, writing, if you are contributing in uh, Wiki News. Uh, still, you can uh, give this uh, kind of citations over there. Uh, in Wiktionary also, we used to give citation uh, whenever there is a reference or any any kind of um, uh, terminology. If you want to refer, uh, still we, we used to give citation. But in most in Wikipedia, citation is mandatory. Okay. Now coming to history, as I said earlier, uh, there is a uh, link called uh, history. So here you can see um, uh, the entire history of any article or any page. Uh, even you can experiment uh, your institution. For example, uh, if you are from any institution, for example, I'm typing Anna University. Okay, uh, if I am part of Anna University, means I can go to history and I can see uh, who contributed what. Uh, suppose if you are, you can find some friends over here. Some of the colleagues may uh, edit uh, related to your university. So th this is a way to experiment and you can explore uh, the history and understand uh, how the page get evolved okay then we have a concept called a template as well as info box uh, if you see this article uh, specific to this article uh, this these are the content like these are the article uh, form uh, you can see uh, this is the article so you can easily type it but in beside here you will find some kind of uh, infograph right uh, something uh, which is highlighted right these things are um, uh, created using um, called some uh, shortcut method uh, we call it like template uh, template using this template we will easily uh, create this kind of uh, info box i will tell you how to um, actually how we create uh, templates uh, if you uh, go to this edit source uh, this kind of uh, flower brackets are there uh, you can uh, ignore this if you see here uh, so this is the template name infobox university infobox university is the template name uh, inside this template name uh, we have a, a, this uh, key and the value like in generally uh, in json we used to have key value pair right a similar con kind of thing is there in infobox so whenever if you want to create an infobox you search the relevant infobox and add those uh, key and value uh, if you if you keep it empty, that still uh, the, that image won't have any uh, data. But whenever you update anything, that uh, that info box will be created. Uh, still, you can see the source code of this uh, template. If you copy this and go to here and type template info box university. If you click here, uh, you will find the the source code. 
so this is a documentation uh, so you will find lot of uh, parameters over there and here you need to go to source look uh, so this this template is protected look this currently this page is currently um, protected because even i don't have access to edit this page because this is a template page uh, so most most of the articles are related with this template so uh, so we are protecting it uh, only uh, administrator as well as template editor can edit this page but still you can uh, reuse this template uh, look this is the source code most of them are in uh, lua code uh, that's the one kind of language we used to uh, adapt here it is easy to learn uh, so this is the source code of this template uh, this is uh, this is uh, one of the example uh, for template we have multiple uh, templates are there like file templates are there image templates are there templates are there so these are the one of the uh, the key uh, use case for you as well maybe in hackathon uh, i can experiment this type of templates uh, you can minimize it uh, the can reuse it and you can deliver years back uh, uh, kind of okay, the name uh, published date the title of uh, few details uh, he was expecting so in that case uh, created a uh, some script that script will go to each and every uh, um, articles in wikipedia to books and it will just read the uh, if you see uh, key value pair right uh, look these are all key value pair same kind of thing for uh, books as well so using our script we easily read those data and we collected and we uh, gave it to it. so this is one of the example same this template can be used for multiple and uh, the one more the main thing is it example who uh in some like uh, it will be applicable to the article link on adams uh, okay meanwhile i will go to the next topic template as well uh, generally uh, wikipedia as i said it's a multilingual right uh, you can uh, uh, can develop your own wikipedia language but still the interface also multilingual uh, interface uh, let me uh, interface language converted into uh, is this fine now uh, now it's uh, fine okay. maybe uh, i okay maybe i have some network trouble okay let me repeat it uh, the thing is like uh, so this is for uh, changing your interface language uh, for example uh, if you opening a telugu wikipedia but uh, you are not comfortable or you are you are not understanding the the terms over there mean uh, still you can change it into or in hindi so the interface will be in other language but content will be in telugu i will uh, show you the example uh, it's still loading um if you see here there would be a button also in that button uh, you can convert the language uh, let me click it uh, same way this is for interface if you see here this is for interface uh, similarly there is a one more option to input uh, if you want to type uh, in wikipedia most of them uh, may have how to type in their own uh, indic languages if you are not aware uh, typewriter uh, there you can choose your language 
if you want to type it in type in uh, hindi means you can uh, select hindi uh, you will get plenty of uh, keyboard layouts whatever layouts you are comfortable you can select and you can uh, you can directly type keyboard layout means then i can come here and if i click uh, the cursor over here you will find here so this is the layout i have chosen so here i when i type something it will be directing into telugu script so this is for input uh, for interface face uh, let me change it to uh, something like tamil okay and now if you see this is a uh, telugu wikipedia okay telugu wikipedia is the, uh, the base but the in, this the interface of uh, the the language of uh, other thing okay after sometimes it will be converted into tamil so that uh, the thing is like you can uh, still convert any project's interface language okay look these are the few challenges like um, we able to convert a few of the words but few things are still not able to convert because due to some translation um, the, like equivalent words are not available so there are few uh, bugs over there so these are the, your use cases for your hackathon maybe you can come up with some solution uh, even you can try try with a uh, uh, voice type um but generally we have a keyboard right keyboard using keyboard and other talks some of the expect uh for example uh if you are a developer and you was still breaking really yeah. used to develop it in your some lab kind of yeah so sorry uh, sorry I uh, sorry i'm i'm joined back i had some little problem i am audible now yeah you clear now okay good thank you uh, the next thing is uh, sandbox uh, so sandbox is nothing but it's like a, a play box so you can uh, uh, try your own article and you can uh, experiment it how it looks if you want to do any uh, formatting changes i think i haven't shared this thing let me share it again okay so uh, sandbox is you can find if you go to uh, this any wikipedia you will find the sandbox so whenever you are creating a new article uh, we advise new user to create a article in sandbox so that if they miss anything or if they uh, did any mistake also it won't affect anyone Uh, so you can read and once you are comfortable once the article is complete then you can move into the main uh, page okay so that is a sandbox uh, then watch list okay watch list is nothing but uh, this if you see the star so uh, if you generally if you go to any article uh, it, this this will be not in blue color uh, generally it is like a uh, uh, colorless Uh, but if you want to follow this article then you can click this button and then it will be turned into blue which means uh, whenever there is a change happening in this article uh, you can watch it from this watch list if i click here so these are the articles in my watch list so if you see here so whenever there is a change in this taluk i will be noti notified so i can go and i can verify um, and they can if there is any mistake i can revert it okay there is a option like a reverting option is there so idea is uh, you can monitor or at least you can have a glance uh, at least you have some kind of notification on your article at least your article so that is the watch list uh, kind of thing uh, we have category concept or that like uh, whenever you create any any pages any article uh, we used to create some labels okay uh, those labels will help us to relate related articles uh if, for example if you take this uh, wiki comments uh, let me take this image uh, if you go to this image page if you come down uh, the bottom you will find the categories look these are the categories uh, if you click this category means uh, august 2018 moscow so these are the images are with this category so so which means uh, these content are uh, labeled with this name so that is how the the entire projects work if you, if you take a dictionary or a, any project this category is the the same concept uh, it will used to uh, uh, consolidate the relevant uh, things 
okay then namespace uh, namespace is a, generally it's a uh, new to other ecosystem uh, namespace is nothing but uh, it's kind of uh, uh, category okay uh, if you open any page uh, for example if you take this wikipedia uh, you might have noticed this particular uh, this uh, naming convention like uh, the first this thing is a domain name and this is, this is a subdomain you are okay with that after that before this uh, semicolon so before this colon uh, you have a, a name called a special nothing but this special is the uh, namespace we call it like a namespace uh, generally every project have some different kind of namespaces uh, for articles we used to create article only in main namespaces uh, for talk uh, it has it has a namespace called a talk namespace uh, if you are creating any template means uh, we will create those template in template namespaces so we, it is kind of a sub category you can imagine like this Uh, if you want to see all kind of namespaces, uh, you can go to the search. Um, there is a search option, right? Oh, sorry, let me go to the search. Uh, okay, so here, uh, if you uh, enter this one, uh, you will see all kind of namespaces. So these are the namespaces available in this particular project, Wikipedia. Uh, file namespace is there. Uh, media wiki. Okay, specifically, this media wiki uh, is related to um like whenever you want to modify any of the resource code of this project means we generally we do it in this media wiki in general user won't have the access to media wiki but you can access those source code and you can learn it uh, we have template we have help category uh, portal we have multiple name pieces that similarly module uh, module also the most important one so these are the uh, namespace uh, kind of thing if you select module means Uh, the name will start with the module m o d u l e and colon so these are the modules are available uh, for example if i take this module look this is the uh, source code of this particular module uh, if you want to see uh, the relevant article of this module means you can uh, use uh, what links here if you click here uh, you will know what are the pages are linked with this module so you can understand how uh, linked uh, this module how people are using this module you can understand and you can see how it is used so these many articles are linked with this module okay these are the example for namespace okay now coming to the wiki code uh, as i said earlier uh, wiki code is nothing but similar kind of html code but uh, with a different syntax uh, in generally in, in html you use uh, less than and greater than symbol right for element uh, here we don't have a element concept uh, we will directly write the free text uh, whenever you if you want to include any links okay hst like uh, hyperlinks uh, we used to um, use a double square bracket uh, let me open this article um, let me go back uh same same way if you want to add images uh, you can uh, use that is a, um, a square bracket as well as a flower brackets are there you see so this is for link so uh, if you if you put any uh, word uh, with uh, any uh, double square bracket front and back means this word will be turns into links inner links so which means this uh, this uh, string will be pointing to this article uh, this madurai corporation so if you see here madurai corporation article Okay, this this Madurai Corporation article will be linked by default. So in, instead of using anchor element, uh, you just uh, you can use this uh, double square bracket. Uh, similarly, if you are developing any template, then you will be using this uh, flower bracket. Okay, uh, if you want to make anything bold, means you will use uh, this uh, triple hyphen. Now for headlines, uh, we will use this uh, double uh, equal. So these are the uh, few syntaxes. You can explore uh, it later. but uh, this is how this wiki code will work it is not just a, a copy of html okay uh, so whenever there is a need of uh, understanding the wiki code you can uh, go and uh, search with the wiki code syntax you will get uh, the entire syntax and uh, then uh, the last one uh, we have a village pump concept uh, village pump is nothing but that is a discussion forum uh, if you see here uh, so in internal wikipedia if you click here so this is a page where you will uh, discuss and uh, decide if you want to discuss with any 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 new project or any uh, doubts mean you can come to this village pump and you will discuss uh, in generally in english wikipedia you will find here uh, village pump uh, 
I think uh, I can't I can't find the name directly here. But uh, but generally, yeah, community portal. Okay, community portal. Okay, okay. Thanks, thanks for that. Okay, community portal. So here uh, you will find the uh, discussion forum. Uh, for example, if you uh, if you have any doubts, uh, for example, uh, we are here to help you. But if if you are if you, in in our absence or if you are not here to help means in generally people will come to this village pump and ask their question. Or if you if you need any technical support, they will click here and uh, they will ask their question. Like um, like in wiki, sorry Facebook groups or a kind of group kind of thing. Here you will post your question. And some other volunteer will address your uh, questions. So that is how this entire ecosystem will work because uh, most of the contributors are uh, may not be uh, aware of each other because um, everyone are from here and there. Uh, they know only with their username. Okay, so most of the people are contributing without knowing each other. So they will come here and they will discuss and they will decide. So this is a like healthier way to uh, contribute uh, to this project. So you just explore and you, you will come to know more details. Uh, even if you go to this technical discussion, for example, uh, this one, uh, you will get lot of uh, problem statements. Uh, people will uh, uh, shout their uh, their uh, troubles over here. Uh, if you able to give a solution to them, that will be uh, the best output of our hackathon. So these are the few uh, tips to, tips for you. Uh, not only in English Wikipedia, you can explore on your own language. If someone is from uh, Marathi or Uriya Wikipedia, even you can explore in your own language, and you can come up with any solution. Uh, the one of the advantage of these projects is uh, it is multilingual. So uh, if some solution are available in other language, okay. For example, you are looking for uh, some template kind of thing, right? Uh, for uh, for book book for book, you are trying to create some template. In that case, it is need, needless to create from the scratch. Uh, instead of that, you go to English Wikipedia or other Wikipedia and search for related template. If that is available, you just reuse it and uh, rename with uh, with your uh, local terms. So it is like easy to reuse. So that is general. That is a general um, the thing, a general advantage of this project. Okay, now we will uh, we will take a very uh, short introduction about other uh, projects. Um, with a uh, short description. If you see Wikipedia, I have already explored a Wikipedia. Uh, generally, it is like article kind of thing. Uh, it's multilingual. Uh, generally, we have a category. So these are the mandatory things, uh, category as well as uh, inner links and a reference and notability. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, whenever you create any article, that article needs to be a notable one. Okay, notable means uh, you cannot just create an article about your grandfather or your sister or mother or anyone as like that. Uh, you need to ensure those people are notable one. So notability is again, uh, it's like a uh, discussion it, it, depending on community wise. If you are part of any wiki community like a Telugu Wikipedia or a Hindi Wikipedia, the notability will differ from community to community. English Wikipedia, they have different standard. So you can follow the standard and you can create those articles. So the, the, the basic uh, articles are the basic property, the basic requirement for article is inner links, reference and notability. Okay, so this is the Wikipedia. Now coming to the Wiktionary, in Wiktionary, uh, it is a project for uh, words, right? You can have multilingual. Uh, for example, if you take this, uh, so this is the English Wikipedia uh, with a Telugu word. So if you see here, this is a Telugu word. So here you will find the meaning as well as uh, pronunciation, other things are in English uh, description. So whenever English reader come here, they can understand about uh, this term. Uh, same way, if you want to contribute in your own language, still you can uh, develop uh, the same word in your Telugu, Telugu Wikipedia, and uh, give a description in Telugu. Uh, still, even you can uh, copy Tamil word and uh, put it in your uh, Tel Telugu uh, dictionary and you give a description in Telugu. So that is how it will work. So the word can be any uh, language, okay, any language, but the content and uh, the uh, the concept should be in the own language. Uh, here you can have meaning translation pronunciation so this is how this dictionary will work you cannot create an article in dictionary okay uh, for example uh, if you want if you want to write a article about apple means you go to wikipedia in wikipedia you can write about apple but if you want to give a translation or pronunciation about apple means come to dictionary and write about uh, those uh, dictionary based things in dictionary then we have wiki source uh, 
uh, as you as i said uh, there are namespace right in wiki source we have a different namespace like file uh, index page author then main namespace so here you have a one best example so this is a book uh, 100 poems of kabir uh, translated by thakur so if you see here uh, once you upload a pdf file okay basically we to accept a pdf file uh, so if you have any printed books any rare books means you can scan and convert into pdf and upload it in wiki commons uh, once you uploaded you will find uh, at least you can create this page easily with the same name uh, once you create this page at the immediate second you will come to know all the pages here uh, so this pdf contain uh, almost uh, 50 um, pages there are uh, different color codes are there like yellow green or these color codes are meaning meant with uh, the proof reading things for example this uh, this pdf is uh, only uh, in image format without text means uh, those pages are would be in uh, red in color so suppose uh, text are present means uh, those will be in yellow color uh, text with the proof reader proof reader means uh, it is uh it, there, there no spelling error or no formatting error if it is formatted means then it will be converted into this green color so th that is what this uh, color code indicates so here you will find title you know, uh, other stuffs uh, so this is a index page if you see here index so index means uh, that is the main page for book whenever you upload any book you will create index and you will find the multiple pages Uh, even uh, you can use ocrs uh, we, we have a tesseract ocr as well as google ocr in uh, wiki system uh, using ocr we used to convert this pdf into text format uh, we can uh, explore it uh, later uh, same way we have a uh, pages uh, and as well as uh, author author is there. Uh, in author name space if you click here like uh, rabindranath tagore is right if you click this uh, rabindranath tagore uh, you will landed into this author page so here you will find all the books or which are related with this particular author so that is how this name space will work so basically this wiki source is for um, preserving uh, books rare books as well as nationalized or open uh, licensing books uh, in original form that is the uh, ultimate idea uh, if you see here there is a button to download it in ebooks uh, in generally if you go to wiki source to uh, let me open quickly that is option to download uh, your uh, books in epub or uh, even pdf look these are the recent uh, books if you click any of this book uh, so here there is option to download if you click here uh, it will tell you the option how to download epub or mobi pdf even we have multiple formats so uh, this book will be downloaded in uh, digital format uh, imagine this earlier this book uh, may be in printed uh, form Uh, someone scanned and converted and uploaded into pdf uh, later a few volunteers joined and they uh, proofreaded and they converted into text form so that is how this books will be transformed uh, to this stage and then uh, okay now coming to after this uh, wiki source we have a wiki commons uh, you may aware of this thing uh, wiki commons is nothing but open repository for multimedia files it can be anything files images audio anything can be uploaded uh, we will go to the final one wiki data it is a more uh, interesting and uh, more needed uh, topic uh, if you see the previous projects uh, all the projects have uh, some kind of um, challenges like uh, repeated things are there uh, or uh, sometimes uh, some uh, data may be outdated uh, for example if you are uh, part of some city let's take hyderabad uh, maybe hyderabad uh, mla or uh, mp may be change or maybe uh, can take mayor okay uh, after some time maybe the mayor uh, changed it to someone in that case uh, is it possible for you to edit uh, entire uh, hyderabad related article to change the mayor name it is practically it is difficult right so in that case uh, we there is a concept like centralized uh, storage for example you create a, a page or create a entity uh, with the hyderabad uh, mayor name okay there you change the uh, the name and you can keep the current mayor name okay then link this particular entity with all the articles uh, irrespective of language uh, telugu article uh, even tamil article english article wherever you have a relevant uh, hyderabad you can link it so whenever there is a change 
you directly go to this ent entity and you change the name that will be reflected in all the pages correct so that is the uh, the best way of uh, approach so to to address that uh, we have a wiki data so using this wiki data we used to solve most of the challenges like repeated works uh, as well as uh, dated uh, data so most of the um, these things can be addressed using wiki data uh, let me show you that Uh, you can open wiki data um that is one more uh, novel thing is uh, when compared with other projects you have a multilingual like uh, you can have a own community like uh, wiki source means you have own telugu community tamil community hindi community right but wiki data is not a language dependent because it purely depends on data only data data doesn't have a language dependency right for example hyderabad mayor maybe so and so some 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 person is there x y z so this is a data in every language uh, same x y z would be the mayor uh, correct so that is the different main difference from other project uh, so if you see here uh, let me take a same example hyderabad okay so if you open this entity uh, we call it like entity uh, okay so so generally this entity will be identified the identifier called q and the number if you see here uh, you will you, you can easily understand key value pairs so this is the key and this is the value so instance of it is a mega city or city of uh, india if you open any uh, human or any person means this instance of will be would be in uh, human okay if you open any other uh, in any um, any product or any uh, physical product means instance would be something like a um, uh, physical object or something related to the, those instances if you see image uh, official name labels everything will be key value pair one question one answer so you can see the founder by name let me search with the mayor basically mayor would be a part of uh, hyderabad or uh, some corporation thing so here we won't find mayor uh, but uh, still you can find other things in key value pair uh, for example population look, so look this is a good example um, this this uh, male male population maybe is around some uh, lakhs right so for example after some uh, sense sense uh, data release this data may be um, changed right in that case you will come here and edit this data that's it so whenever uh, there is a article with uh, linking with this particular uh, entity means this data will be reflected so that is how uh, this wiki data will work and more frequently uh, one more aspect is uh, we will link uh, other uh, other language articles over here if you see here in and coming under this wikipedia uh, you have 170 entities sorry entries over here in every language so which, which means uh, hyderabad part article is presented in almost 117 languages uh, so th this is how it will link together so if you open uh, this article here means <coughs> sorry uh, you can see the language here so it, this will happen with any any project whenever any if you open any project uh, in beside you will find the different uh, inter interlinked languages uh, if you want to uh, go to marathi hyderabad page means you just click here you can navigate to hyderabad in marathi so when i suppose if you are creating a new article uh, in your language in that case once you created you come to this wiki data and add it uh, edit and uh, choose your um, article name and then language uh, so here you will type the language for example uh, if i type if i type tamil means i type ta and i choose okay basically tamil is already present so it won't allowing me to select okay let me take this one and i type the language i mean sorry the article title uh, once i updated i will just click this publish button that's it so all the 117 article will be linked with this particular article so that is how this centralized repository will work for wikipedia uh, same way you can also link with the wiki voyage Okay, wiki voyage is for uh, uh, tourist uh, uh, kind of thing. You can explore uh, uh, the tourist kind of data in wiki voyage, uh, wiki news, 
uh, even if you have any hyderabad related books means you can link it over here so wiki data uh, basically it is for uh, data storage centralized data uh, i have some example okay i don't have example here maybe any in upcoming session i will uh, give more details about wiki data uh, we have a syntax uh, we can easily query the syntax and we will we can get the data uh, for example if you are try, writing trying to get a, a chatbot okay chat chatbot kind of thing uh, you want to uh, get uh, some population details about any specific city means you can directly query uh, to this wiki data uh, with the, your uh, city name and the, the the respective property of population okay population has some property like some p values there uh, if you see here population if you uh, move the cursor over here uh, there is a, a pop up like a population uh, p uh, 1082 so this is the property name so you need to query with this item name okay this uh, item and this property name then you will get this value so that is how uh, this wiki data will interact with machines so not only human readable also it is machine readable so that is the one of the advantage of wiki data okay and that's it i think um, so uh, we have almost uh, one and a half hours uh, the, if you have any other questions uh, we can take it uh, thank you uh, i have few questions in comments Yeah, you can unmute yourself and ask one by one. Otherwise, you can raise the hands and I will allow. Okay, uh, we have a question like entomology. Entomology is nothing but uh, it is a history of uh, the word derivation. Uh, for example, if you have any word, uh, means the word have some history. Uh, how it derived, how derived from which source or which language derived. Uh, those studies deals with etymology. Okay, someone has answered a question. Wiki data is validated first, sir. I'm not able to get this question, but basically, wiki data uh, is like a key value pair. Uh, you can store any data. Uh, if you if, if if you have any data, like if you have any book under its author name, means you can create an entity of the book and add the author name here. Uh, the one more difference between Wikipedia and Wikidata is uh, if you want to create any content in Wikipedia, that should be a notability criteria. Now, without notability, you can create anything uh, in Wikipedia. You cannot create, okay? But in Wikidata, you can create. Uh, you can create any uh, data, uh, whichever is relevant or whichever is useful, you can directly create it in Wikidata. Uh, definitely we will have a recording session we have a, we have a recorded video uh, we will be sharing it uh, with you all I think most of the questions get answered in uh, comments itself. Or do you have any other question you can unmute and uh, you can ask? Excuse me, sir. Ah, yes. Uh, sorry for the disturbance, but I joined this session a bit late. Can I get a recording for this? Yes. Uh, sir, where will it be available? No, uh, we just uh, looking at a uh couple of sessions to people can join. Uh, maybe every month we can have a session pack and we send it to you. Because most of the sessions are independent sessions. Uh, so you have access to that. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, also, uh, if you're interested, you can uh, uh, contact my email ID. We have some uh, uh, some recorded sessions in YouTube, uh, which are related with uh, uh, earlier uh, sessions. They also, those are not part of this session. At least you can go through those videos. At least you will get some idea. Uh, sir, I have a question here. Yes. Um, so I have a question. I'm Ramesh here. See, I was. Uh, see, uh, I think uh, the data that is available on WikiLeaks. I uh, just want to check how authentic is the data, okay. so that we can actually use it for our research purposes. Or correct. 
uh, so this is any for... other purposes uh, when we are using the source of information yes correct uh, so you are talking about wiki data or wikipedia uh wiki data sir wiki data right so yeah. in generally uh, we cannot uh, at least we cannot ensure these are all 100% sure okay this is a common uh, commonly collected data yeah so we are we are we are representing ourselves as a third level database so we are not the first source we are not the second source we are the third source so okay. to verify it uh, you can go to the reference if you if you even if you check hyderabad yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a reference point so yeah. you can verify it but in general uh, most of the wiki data data are valid because mm -hmm. it's still uh, read read by most of the other editors it's are linked with other articles so whenever there is a discrepancy people will change it immediately so in okay. generally uh, generally most of the data are valid mm -hmm. uh, but if you say uh, factually, uh, those are all not uh, authentic, authorized one. You need to See, go with reference. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. One more clarification in terms of yes. uh, uh, using this data for your research purposes when yes. you are publishing a paper or article. Huh? Yes. So we actually we actually go for citation. Mm. Right? So if you want to cite any other data which is available on WikiLeaks, mm -hmm. so do you do you think is it advisable for us to take the data so that we can use it for your research purposes? Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, one second. Let me, yes, uh, yes. No, you, are you referring Wikipedia or WikiLeaks? WikiLeaks is yes, sir, WikiLeaks, a, sir. WikiLeaks or WikiData, sir. Whatever. I just want. I had a question. WikiLeaks is the not a Different. part of Wikipedia. Uh, yes. That is separate entity. It's not a uh, Wikipedia cut kind of thing. Okay. If you are stating any Wikipedia article, yes, sir. Uh, there will be every article you have a permanent link. Like a, a left side, you have a, for example, uh, if you open a Hyderabad article, there is permanent link. Where okay. you actually have a actual data created at that time. Okay. So you yes. can use that link as a permanent link. So if okay. somebody see, for example, uh, as uh, uh, my colleague give a response of uh, Hyderabad mayor. Okay. So you want to have some raw is the mayor, right? Mm -hmm. Probably, uh, but you are using that in your uh, scholar text or any written text, right? Yes. Sir. So then you always need to use the particular edit member mm -hmm. in a when you take a when you take a permanent link, every article okay. got a permanent link. Yeah. So even Hyderabad may changes also. Mm -hmm. In case someone referred to your article, mm -hmm. if they click on a particular link which you provide in your uh, mm -hmm. content, there mm -hmm. itself they know that one Hyderabad may be the same at that at the point of time. Probably two though then we have this mayor and, and mm -hmm. after that maybe get valid. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, please consider most of the data or points is keep on changing. That is a beauty of Wikipedia. Okay. Right? Uh, so if you want to give a general information about Hyderabad, you can give Hyderabad references. Otherwise, uh, you have a, uh, what you call uh, any specific uh, kind of thing. You always use a permanent link. So for example, uh, you have a uh, like a special page permanent link is there, right? Tools special page permanent link. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I requested to use that. Okay. Don't take a W Wikipedia at uh, slash Hyderabad. Uh, in the same page, uh, special, below special page, there's permanent link. Okay, permanent. Can you just click on that link, uh, permanent link. So this one, yeah, this one. Yes. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. So this can be used by your reference. Yeah, so this is your reference. Okay. Yes, sir. So that is a recommended one. Uh, so you can uh, take it. Uh, and uh, I'm talking about uh, wiki data. Okay, wiki okay. data is uh, it's a purely uh, CC zero. If you see here, mm -hmm. CC zero. So no reference is needed. Uh, mm -hmm. No attrition is needed for uh, if you are taking a data from uh, wiki data. Uh, if okay. you are taking anything from Wikipedia, then you can use this link. Mm -hmm. So because this is under uh, CC by SA, so you okay. need to definitely give a attrib attribution. All right. Oh, fine. If you have 20 yes, questions, uh, we're going to close session within two minutes. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And please, uh, tomorrow we have other session, very beautiful session by Srinivasan. And uh, please join and inform to your colleague also. Sunday, we have a session at 7 o'clock. Thank you so much. Any other questions? Uh, feel free to ask because this is a first session. Uh, even if you're not uh, comfortable with English, you can still ask in Telugu. Uh, we have Kashyap to address. 
any questions uh, we have pavan javitas we have yes, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> kannada hindi we have any language hindi. you are okay <laughs> i'm just sharing the uh, other uh, recorded session of, uh, in this chat this is this is from youtube only you can also go through that also if you search uh, in wiki commons okay as i said earlier in commons we have lot of uh, recorded or tutorial uh, related sessions are there you can uh, go and you can have a self learning uh, most of us are uh, are basically we understood by self learning only so it's easy to learn these projects are very community driven uh, you can also learn on your own yeah that is great advice kara now one thing which will happen with the uh, uh, independent learning is uh, because uh, they the uh, things programs subject to change very frequently right yes government once you depending on a uh, i mean a few age video so you may not able to get the things mm -hmm. uh, but there are lamp of resources uh, when you from getting directly from wiki commons and wiki kind of thing and uh, this activity we are focusing more and more people on self driven self learning kind of thing because uh, we are habituated to get uh, lectures notes guides kind of thing Okay. so we thought we can have a this space uh, where we actually given us some inputs to you uh, so you will explore you find uh, you find our own test to do it the better right You're right yeah thank you so much everyone uh, so uh, so very happy evening